Get some. Hey, what's up? It's Al Partnin, back out here at Kernside DIY in Bakersfield, California. Today we're gonna pour a concrete bull corner. We got Bakersfield Ben, who's done a lot of work on this spot. He's uh, done a lot of work on this particular obstacle, uh, getting it ready for us. Uh, did it what he calls clubhouse style, or just scabbing together all the scraps he could find around the lot here. Um, kind of made a wooden frame supported the back with two by fours and anything else you could find uh, and then he went in and tied the rebar proper in this in this particular one especially when you're using this kind of technique uh, you definitely want to use rebar because rebar is a lot stronger than chicken wire and when you don't have all that backfill you need that rebar it's crucial so uh, he set it up we went in we did what I like to call the old stone wall technique kind of built up the low spots with rocks we took the rocks and we filled in kind of under the rebar, the low spots, made little shelves for the mud to stack on. Next step is we go and we get the yard cart. A yard cart is actually a really awesome thing. It's your friend. Um, yard cart, it's all mixed right there for you. You have everything right there at your fingertips. You can tell the guy if you want it, you know, if it's for flat, it's gonna be more soupy. If it's gonna be for a wall, it's a little stiffer mix. So you have that control and it's cheaper. It's cheaper, I mean, we got that whole yard. We got a little more than a yard for around a hundred bucks. So you save money, you save time, you save blisters on your hand, you save your back. In this particular situation, uh, it was really nice. We had a really nice mix from the yard cart. So we were able to use the wheelbarrow and do what I guess we'd call a wheelbarrow stack. Um, Loaded up the wheelbarrow, rolled it all the way up the wall as far as we could, stacked it, stacked it, stacked it. That was really nice, that helped a lot. Then we took the shovel with the rest and kind of filled it up, filled it up, got it all in there. Now Ben's hitting it with the Fresno to give it a basic shape. The next step is to hit it with the float. Float's gonna rub down the rocks and kind of shape it out and keep it smooth. Now we're just gonna let it sit for a bit. We're gonna wait for it, hit it with the steel, Boom, we're done. We're gonna be skating this thing tomorrow.